Now we're at the Hasegawa booth checking out some of the cool aviation releases. You pan down here a little bit. This is a 172nd scale version of uh, the British Eurofighter, well, Eurofighter, the Eurofighter Typhoon, a single-seater version. And this comes with so many weapons. Now, the guy was just explaining to me that uh, you'll never see a payload like this actually on an aircraft, but this is uh, everything that the kit comes with loaded on there. Uh, probably couldn't even fly with this much on there, but then again, maybe it could. It is a Typhoon, after all, the Eurofighter Typhoon. Uh, this is the parts breakdown here. Lots of detail, lots of weapons. Um, comes with a nice clear stand, which I'll introduce here. There you go, so you can show it in flight mode or parked on the tarmac. Uh, putting this down here. Panning on over, we got some built-up versions here. There's the, the German version of the Typhoon. Oh, this is that's where I got British from. This is the British version of the Typhoon here. Uh, and the German and British markings there. I'm trying to see what kind of markings it will come with. I don't see any explanation about markings. A lot about the weapons, though. Uh, this is an all, again, an all-new tooling, and this is coming out this month in October. So this is a, a very happy release for modelers of 172nd scale modern aircraft. Checking out aircraft, uh, and this time it's in 48 scale. Uh, this is a release of the F-15E Strike Eagle. Uh, it's not a totally new uh, tooling of the kit, but it's uh, Hasegawa's Eagle with these. These are all new tooling parts to make the F-15E Strike Eagle. Uh, and this comes with markings for Tiger Meat 2005. As you can see here, you've got the, the tiger stripes and all that cool stuff. So another new cool aircraft release. Not an entirely new tooling, but quite a few new parts to make the F-15E Strike Eagle from Hasegawa. Checking out a brand new bike kit here at the Hasegawa booth is uh, the Yamaha YZR500 OW98. This is the 1998 WGP Champion bike. Uh, again, this is an all new tooling. Uh, you see the built-up kits here uh, with uh, the tanks and whatnot off there to see the amazing detail within there. All kinds of cool stuff within. And if you pan over to the left a little bit, uh, we can see the parts break down. Test shot of the sprues all laid out. All new tooling in 1 12th scale. Uh, the parts will actually be white. Uh, these are in silver just for showing at the show here. Uh, rubber tiles, metal parts, got some tubing and stuff for the brakes and all. Uh, fine set of decals from the folks at Cartograph. Uh, so yeah, the Yamaha YZR500. This is, looks to be a very, very excellently detailed bike uh, in Hasegawa's 112th scale bike series. So good to see more stuff coming for the bike fans from Hasegawa. Hasegawa 1350th scale ship kits. Uh, what we have here is a variation on uh, their excellent uh, Hikawa Maru kit. Uh, this is the Heian Maru, uh, which is a, a Hikawa Maru class ship. This is the, the uh, cargo version ship uh, during World War II, or when was it? Uh, somewhere like that, but yeah. Uh, it's got the cool camouflage on there. Uh, the set will include some photo etched parts. Uh, down here you see these are the newly tooled parts to make uh, the the Kamoto-san, the cargo ship version uh, of the Heian Maru. And uh, what we have over here are some separately sold parts, some more photo etched, more photo etched, and some wooden deck parts uh, that will be sold separately. And this is also coming out this month. This is coming out in October uh, in 1350 scale, the Hasegawa Heian Maru, available now for pre-order at Hobby Link Japan. And we're going to move over to some fun stuff. Uh, for fans of eggplanes, we got some more eggplane madness from Hasegawa. Uh, here's a very early test printed shot. You can see it's got very rough detail on it with 3D printing or whatever. This is an SU-33 Flanker D coming. Does it say when it's coming? Uh, it's, it's coming in November, according to this. Uh, and down here we got some other cute little cool guys here. We've got a MiG-15 getting the eggplane treatment, uh, a Hughes 300, and a Hughes 500. Now if you ask me, these guys, they really don't look that different uh, than the real thing because they're kind of like eggs anyway. Uh, but they're a little scrunchy. They got that super deformed eggplane look to them. So yeah, SU-33. MiG-15, Hughes 300 and Hughes 500. Some more excellent eggplane fun coming from Hasegawa. Still checking out some cool aviation type stuff here at the Hasegawa booth here uh, with some enthusiastic fans taking some great pictures here too. Uh, from the Ace Combat series, uh, we have here the uh, Happy Halloween pumpkin version of the F-14D Tomcat. Now this is in 172nd scale. It's Hasegawa's excellent F-14 kit uh, supplied with uh, decals and markings to make this very, very cool Happy Halloween version of that. Uh, now, previously, we've seen the uh, We see here the Shinden 2, which uh, was previously released, but now we're also getting it in the IK Nagase color version here, and this is coming out in November. And uh, the pumpkin one is, appropriately enough, coming out just in time for Halloween. This will be out in October. So, two excellent aircraft 
from the Ace Combat game series, the Shinden 2, uh, K Nagase color version, and the Super Happy Halloween Pumpkin version. All right, so some people out there may have seen a, a, a Japanese anime called the Galaxy Express 999. Yeah, it's uh, pretty, oh, pretty yeah. famous. Uh, apparently women really dig it because my wife always sings that song when we go to karaoke. Anyway, uh, looks like they're building the Arcadia. Hasegawa has got uh, a display up of the uh, Arcadia uh, pirate ship. And you can see that they've got the runners on display and they've got the uh, completed built versions here too. So this thing is uh, going to be coming out very soon. I don't see an actual release date, but you're looking at a, a 1500 scale kit complete with uh, all the parts you need, you know, the skulls and everything you need and a stand to, to build it, set it up. It does, I don't see anything in the way of decals, but uh, this kit may not be high on markings, but you can see that they've got, uh, you know, all yeah. these details and the fire flags. So while they don't have the template here, you're going to, you can see that there are some stuff going to be coming out. This is actually a mad design for spaceship. I know. When you watch that on the anime, it was cooler than the actual, the actual train itself. <laughs> Bodacious Space Pirates. My kind of space pirates. Now, so. now that I have your attention. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Bodacious Space Pirates. It's actually an anime. I think that it just finished running on Japanese television back in June. But I think there's going to be a, a movie coming out as well. And it's being picked up for some other licensing. But uh, as you can see, they're making model kits of it. And for those who don't know the story, there's, you know, a typical... 17 year old Japanese girl who finds out that her father was a pirate and inherits the, the uh, Ben 10 Maru, his ship. And here's the Ben 10 Maru. You're going to be able to build the Ben 10 Maru. And the Ben 10 Maru, is, despite its looks right here, it's a space pirate ship uh, being pi pirated, piloted by a bodacious 17 year old? Question mark. In a very short school. <laughs> yes, so of course it follows that same kind of uh, pattern you find with a lot of other uh, animes. <laughs> Things is it a and uh, they've actually got uh, oh, yeah, hey, runner here. breakdown here, and they're showing you the colors. This is going to be red, and then we're going to see some white and green and some smoke, they call it. So while they don't actually have a, uh, a colored version of it here, they actually are able to show you how the runners are going to be laid out. So if you're a fan of uh, sci-fi or space pirates or have actually watched this anime, then uh, maybe you want, might be interested in some bodacious space pirate flammo. 17 yeah. And while we're talking about uh, anime Flamo, you can see they've got the Lax S Last Exile. Yep. This is the van ship. Fam's Vespa. They've also got these as well. But uh, so here's, here's, you know, Fam's Vespa here. It's all well, colored. It's pretty retro design. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of uh, the Miyazaki. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. For uh, Poco Rosso. Yeah, you can see they got a prototype here as well. And uh, I, I don't, unfortunately don't know too much about this anime storyline. It doesn't have the word bodacious in the title, so <laughs> I, I kind of just didn't pay attention. But uh, as a plamo kit, I mean, it's looking really good, especially with the completed model. I mean, yeah, we got to realize this is how Hasegawa we're talking about. Yeah. So you're going to be see, it's all, for the most part, uh, glue and paint. So you're going to have to put the finish on it yourself. And whoever did this shiny finish on the display model has done a really good job of it. It's really, really well done. So I think everybody knows what we're looking at right now. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. This, of course, is uh, Mac, Shane Krieger. And you can see that uh, Hasegawa's got some models on display here. Yeah. And they have a new model that they're showing at the show. And it's called the Camel. The, the camel. one thing about uh, Machine Krieger, for personally, I think, is that they have the best names <laughs> for their stuff. The yeah, Fireball, camel. or the Snowman, and now we got a Camel. And uh, here's the completed kit all done up. You I know, can see the progression. Yeah. The rooster, the duck, <laughs> the turtle, I don't know. But uh, I actually like the look of this kid. Like, look at all the details going yeah. on in the legs here. Right? It's all painted, it's all rusted. Uh, they've done an awesome job with the weathering, of course, as they usually do. But they do have the uh, normal prototype kit. Yeah, that's And you can see pretty. inside yeah. all those details in the cockpit, you know, the seat, feet, pedals, handle grip here. And uh, you might not actually uh, be able to, uh, if you take the time to detail it up, you, you can, but then you're going to put that uh, awesome looking little mirror ball in the front of it and it's going to, it's going to disappear, but uh, you know, the poss potential is there if you want to spend the time to get that cockpit done. I think know. it's maybe time for me to uh, yeah. do a Mac kit. <laughs> go, back and, go back to Mac? Go back to Mac. Now you're making me hungry, right? I know. I'm hungry too, Sid. Well, it's almost lunchtime.